Mayhap we can employ a card for our next journey. is nigh unstoppable when tis wrath. We've Show yourself! <laughs> Twas a lesson in determination. Somehow I knew you'd come. You have my gratitude as well, sir. Ulrika, glad I am to see you unharmed. You must return to the village. Everyone is concerned for you. Forgive me. I'd best go, but I shan't forget this. Thank you, truly. I'll pick that up. We might have need of it.
Ere since the reign of Rathais, the founder of Vermund, the village of Malf has played an indispensable role in the defense of our kingdom against the dragon. Yet twice now, as the dragon set upon this village, inflicting numerous casualties, before being allowed to flee. The fault here lies with you, Ser Ulrika. You have failed in your duty as acting chief. With all due respect, Sir Martin, our village has dispatched many of its young hands to the northern stronghold since its completion. Was it not the former consul who decreed that the stronghold should serve to defend the kingdom? With Melv offering aid only where needed? Yet the stronghold has remained entirely silent to our plight. How can you say that the fault is ours to bear? I know of no such agreement. At the very least, Queen Regent Deesa has mentioned naught of the kind. But I'm quite sure the Consul... You would dare misrepresent the words of the dead? Or do you mean to imply that the Queen Regent has spoken falsely? If so, then Melv's problems run far deeper than I had thought. Tis not indolence that has taken root here. But treason! The village entire will answer for this! What? I intended nothing of the sort. Pray, let us... Save your honeyed words, traitor! I must inform the Queen Regent of this development. You came to see me? Forgive me, I've much to ponder. Still, how would you like to stay the night? I've yet to repay you for aught you've done for me. A small show of hospitality is surely the least I can do. It was by your godly efforts that Malv escaped the worst of the dragon's assault. The people of this village are more precious to me than life itself. To lose them would have been the end of me. You have my earnest gratitude, friend. I wanted to tell you that, if not else. Now, it is time we slept. There is much to be done for the village, and I shan't manage it without a good night's sleep. Where is Ulrika? The Queen Regent has declared that Ulrika be apprehended as a traitor to the kingdom. All who seek to abet her will be tried in turn. Bring her before me at once. Ulrika is gone. What? She stole away in the dead of night. Ask around. Several witnesses can confirm it. I cannot say why for certain, but I imagine she took your words to heart, Overseer. Realizing her plans for rebellion had been found out, she chose to abandon the village, for our sake. You would have me believe that Ulrika was acting alone? That the rest of the villagers harbor no rebellious intent? Aye, that's the long and short of it. Very well. I shall take you at your word, sir. However, the absence of a leader will sow naught but chaos. For the time being, your village will be in our hands. If tis as you say, I do not expect there will be any objections. Ah, there you are. There's aught I would ask of you. It concerns Ulrika. You've heard she fled the village, I. Though that is the case, she would never truly abandon it. As she left the village, that she might fulfill her charge, protecting vermin against the dragon. As for where she went, I do not know. It would be unwise for me to go looking for her, lest I draw the eyes of the overseer's troops. However, should you happen to find her, would you tell me where she is hiding? 
can only pray that she does not fall into the Queen Regent's clutches. To think I would meet you here, or were you searching for me? I cannot return to Mel, not till my name is cleared, not till the dragon is found. This village also suffered the dragon's attack in the past. I intend to stay here and investigate its whereabouts. Pray, give my regards to everyone back home. Tell them that I swear to return as soon as I can. Sir Leonard will be very glad to know that Sir Ulrika is safe. We ought to bring him these tidings post haste. If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. It is a relief to hear that Ulrika is safe. Mayhap there is aught I could do for her, for Vazid, though the Queen Regent's influence has become. My humblest thanks. You have proven a friend to Mel and me as well. It isn't much, but here, I would not see you go unrewarded for your trouble. A firm resolve has taken root in my heart since we met. I may be past my prime as a fighter, but I can still teach. And if anyone can master this technique, it is you. Go on, humor an old man. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, excellent find. Say, mm. have you come to be curious of other... While it is admirable to devote, particularly if you are eligible for a special vocation. to for unseen opportunity always a pleasure opportunity as they come I say welcome and well met 